All right, guys, so here is the 2024 F-150 XLT in antimatter blue, which is a very, 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 very dark blue. As you can kind of see, it looks black. 303A. Now, this one has the black appearance package. So we'll start here just at the front. We've got beautiful LED lights, but we don't have the LED daytime running lights, unfortunately. We do have a different grille. We have the black badge with Ford written in white with the white lining around it. We've got two black tow hooks at the front. This one does have the 360 camera, as you can see the camera's right there. And then we've got the parking sensors as well down below. We've got two fog lights down there, but that is pretty much it at the front. What do you guys think of the front so far? Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think it's a really nice look. Let's take a look underneath the hood. Okay, so diving into the motor here, we've got a 2.7 liter EcoBoost producing 325 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque made it to the 10 speed auto it's got great fuel economy and it's pretty quick off the line and the towing capacity you got up to 10,100 I believe um, which is pretty good for this engine but that's it underneath the hood let's dive around the truck and go over the details okay so diving around the truck we'll start here with the wheel and tire setup so we're sitting on Hankook Dyna Pro AT2s. We've got 275 60 R20, so these, this is a 20 inch wheel. We do have that carpeted liner for some sound deadening. Now with the black appearance pack, we get the blacked out hood vent, which I think looks really good. No body color mirror caps, unfortunately, but we do have that 360 camera here underneath the mirror. We do have the body color door handle with a lock and unlock feature with just your key in your pocket. This one does have the running board down below as well. Now the same tire setup is in the back. This is a five and a half foot bed with a four x four sticker on the side. That's it for the side guys. Let's take a look at the rear. Okay, so in the back here, we've got the beautiful dual exhaust with that black Ford badge with white writing. Now this one here does not have that kind of sculpted look that the Lariat has with the beautiful LED tail light, unfortunately, but it does still look good. Now, as we open the back tailgate here, we've got the rear camera and the light. We click the button here. This one does not have the spray and bed liner, unfortunately, but it is an option. We've got the 120 plug on the side, and then we do have that rear sliding rear window which is nice now we do also got the clamps here for the tailgate if you ever want to clamp something it does not have the interior work surface but the tailgates themselves now are getting really really light you don't have to heave on them anymore that's it for the back here let's take a look at the rear seats alrighty so coming into the back here of the f-150 we've got beautiful leather here which is included in this package We've got your cup holders at the top here. We've got your vents, 12 volts, and then we've got only USB-Cs back here with a 120. This can move up and you've got some lower storage underneath the seats. We've got the flat floor in the middle. As we make our way to the door panel, we've got the nice soft touch padding on the top and right here where your arm will sit. We've got the door opening mechanism here with your automatic windows and a cup holder and then more storage this does have the nice B&O system no sunroof on this one to note that's it for the back here let's take a look at the front okay so coming into the front here we've got that leather carry throughout obviously we'll start here with the door panel soft touch material all throughout on the top here we've got your door opening mechanism here window controls and mirror controls with your lock and unlock. This mirror does have the blind spot detection, just to note. Here are your seat adjustments. And then as we carry throughout here, we've got your mirror controls, tailgate opening, your light controls with fog lights, your pedal controls down there to note. That's it before we hop in. Let's take a look inside the interior at the front. Just wanna say thanks to Kitchener Ford for allowing me to review these trucks. Go hit my boy Connor up, he'll get you a good deal in Kitchener, Ontario. Okay, so turning on this truck, we've got a really nice display here. Build Ford Tough, of course. I'll go over the display in just one second. So the steering wheel feels good. It's a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. We've got your cruise control features and your lane keeping assist on the left with your volume, voice command. This menu controls their front infotainment. So while pressing the menu button, you've got my view, trip fuel, gauges, off-road, 
towing status information, phone, and a bunch of other stuff. So you can kind of customize all that stuff depending on how you feel. Um, I like the My View. You can kind of go over, you know, what you want in it. Um, I usually just keep it on my fuel economy. Dash is a little different from before, but I think they've kept it in a really good design element. We've got your toggle here for your wipers and then your turn signal. Now at the top here, we've got the B&O system and the dash still looks really good. And then we've got a little bit more storage here, upper glove box area. And then we've got the lower one down below here. We've got some stuff in there. Now this is the 12 inch screen. We'll turn the audio on, we'll lower that in a second. So we've got the 12 inch screen here. Um, really intuitive, really awesome to use. I like it. You've got your phone, nav, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So once you hit this little arrow here, you can actually move the map over on the left and have the audio on the right, depending on what you feel like, right? So you can kind of play around with it. This here, we've got control. So we've got your auto stop start camera controls, which is nice. There's your rear view camera. So at the top here, we've got your parking sensors here, which we can control. We've got your hazards and your trash control at the top. Down below, we've got your dual zone climate, heated seats, no ventilated seats in this option here, volume and tuning. Wireless charging is here with USB, USB-Cs. We've also got your four by four mode here. So we've got four high, four low, and two high as well. And then th this would be your spot here for your trailer brake, but instead we've got a coin slot. Now this one here does have the interior work surface. So while pushing the jet throttle control down, we can move the center console platform and make it a little bit bigger, which is really convenient, especially when you have your plugs here, your 12 volt and your 120 to plug in your stuff, which is really, really convenient. So that's it guys for the interior. Let's go outside as the window sticker is right there and let's talk about the price. But overall, I think they've done a really, really good job with this interior still. They haven't changed too much, but overall, like I said, I think it looks really good. Okay, so the price of this one here sits at $76,555 in Canadian. Now these are the options here. So it's a 303A. Now that's what they've added as a code for 2024. So this is what it includes. These are the options. So $2,500 Canadian again for the XLT Black Appearance Plus package or package plus. And that's pretty much it. So nothing else is added except that. But $76,555 for this truck. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I think it is a beautiful truck. I know prices have gotten crazy with these trucks nowadays, but if you're comparing apples to apples with other brands, you've got all domestic, like obviously Ford, GM, you know, Ram. I think Ford does a really good job with their trucks. So let me know what you guys think and we will see you in the next one. Cheers.